Welcome back to Tenorshare. Did you upgrade to the latest iOS 18 beta? I absolutely love the dark mode of the app on the home screen and the new control center. It has some amazing new feature to use. But these changes may not run stably in the beta systems. Mine has already encountered crashes and display errors, and it gets serious battery drain and keeps heating up. If you are also not satisfied with iOS 18 and want to go back to the previous version, here is how to downgrade iOS 18 to 17.5 safely. Let's go. Before we begin, here is a quick reminder. The ability to downgrade iOS on different iPhone models depends on Apple's support for specific firmware versions. Once Apple closes the signing window for a particular version, like iOS 17.1, downgrading becomes impossible. And please note that downgrading will cause data loss, so it's best to back up your data before upgrading to iOS 18. If you didn't back up before, you can still back up your data while using iOS 18 and then modify the backup to restore your data after the downgrade. So make sure to stay close for the entire process to prevent mistakes. Let's go. Step 1. Turn off Find My. Just go to your account in Settings and go to Find My. Then turn it off will be fine. We need to turn off Find My to prevent getting stuck during the backup and downgrade process and the activation lock after the downgrade. Then we need to back up our data. Step 2. Back up your data in iTunes. It's recommended to use iTunes to back up your files instead of iCloud. It's more comprehensive and you don't need to pay for larger space on iCloud. But you need to modify your backup on iTunes after the downgrade. So here we go. Connect your device to your computer, download and open iTunes. Go to the summary page and click backup now to create a local backup. However, iTunes may not show the summary page for iOS 18 beta right now, and then you can't backup your data in iTunes. It may be released several days later, so you can check back to see if iTunes is supporting iOS 18 beta backup. Alternatively, you can backup your data in Finder, which works the same way. While backing up data, you can start the downgrade process. Step 3. Downgrade your phone. Here is a thing, if you want to downgrade with iTunes, it may have to go through a lot of errors. For your convenience, I will now show you a simpler way first, which is to use Rei Boot for three steps and then show you how to downgrade with iTunes. Method 1. Downgrade with Rei Boot. Rei Boot provides a reliable alternative to downgrade your iOS version, and its downgrade feature is way more helpful than iTunes. It's super easy, it supports all iPhone models, and it can automatically figure out your iPhone model and the available version to downgrade to. You can download the software from the link below. After downloaded and open Rei Boot, click the Downgrade button. Select Downgrade. It auto-detects the available downgrade version. No need to download the firmware separately. So compared to iTunes, the process is almost error-free. When it's done, make sure your backup is completed before you initiate the downgrade process. Then you can start the process and wait for it to finish. Now you got your phone back to iOS 17.5. By the way, you can also use Rei Boot to upgrade your phone. It has various versions for you to choose to update to, and it's more stable and quick. If you want to know how to downgrade with iTunes, let's move on. Method 2. Downgrade with iTunes. Downgrade with iTunes, which you need to manually search and download the IPSW file. Visit the IPSW.me website to locate the iOS files you want for your iPhone model. Then download the file and wait for the process to complete. After this return to iTunes or Finder to import the downloaded IPSW file, make sure your backup is completed, then hold the Shift key. Click on Restore iPhone 
and select the IPSW file you downloaded. Confirm the restoration and your iPhone will downgrade to the version you downloaded. iTunes doesn't support downgrading iOS 18 beta when I recording this, but the downgrade process is the same. Just follow these steps will be okay. If iTunes prompts you with an error or not support the file, you can always go back to explore the alternative method with re-iBoot. Okay, after the downgrade, your phone is back to factory settings. Let's head to the data restored process. Step 4. Modify the backup. If you backed up your data with iOS 18 and now your phone is back to iOS 17.5, some modifications are necessary. If your phone was not detected in iTunes, reconnect it. Then, go to the Restore Backup page in iTunes. Hold down the Win and R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type in percent app data percent and hit Enter. Navigate to Apple Computer Mobile Sync and open the backup folder. If you don't see the backup folder, hold down the Win and R keys to open the Run dialog box. Type in percent user profile percent instead. Then, go to Apple, Mobile Sync, and open the backup folder. The backup we created should be the most recent one, based on the last modified time. Inside the folder, scroll down to the bottom and find the info. Open it in Notepad. Press Ctrl and F to open the search bar and search for the word product. Not too far down, you'll see the product version. If you downgrade from iOS 18, it should say 18, and you can change it to iOS 17.5, or the version you downgraded to. Tap Ctrl and S to save the file. Now we can go back to iTunes and start the restore process. Click on Restore Backup and select the backup we just modified. iTunes will start the restore process and your iPhone will restart. Once the restore is complete, you can set up your phone again. This time, all your apps, photos and other data will be restored. And your phone will be downgraded to the version you like. And that's it. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If these help, like and subscribe for more insightful tips or check out our other videos. See you next time.